Hi, and welcome to the third installment in my ongoing series about Cartoon Network. Um, this installment will cover weekday programming and Saturday programming. So, um, th this is over all of the uh, different programming blocks that they've had, past and present, and I'll go through them, most of them. So let's begin. Super Chunk. It was one of the first um, blocks that Cartoon Network ever aired, and it was um, aired from 1992 to 2001. It aired on um, Saturday, and it had a three-hour marathon of shows from its library of programming, mostly classic shorts and older Hanna-Barbera shows. I can't tell you much about this because I don't remember it, frankly. I'm going by what I've learned off the internet. So moving on to something I do remember, Toonami! Okay, okay, I know what you're thinking. I covered this in my last uh, episode. But technically, this is Toonami on the weekdays, and I was talking more about Toonami on Saturdays. So, um, it aired, it began airing on 1997, and first host was uh, Moltar. Yeah, go figure. Anyway, it uh, hosted a lot of shows that, are on sat that were on Saturday Toonami, and a lot of action shows, a lot of animes. Uh, I remember there was one about these girls that did, I, I don't know. But anyway, it was pretty much the same thing Toonami is now, only it aired for about two or three hours on weekdays. And it aired a lot of Dragon Ball Z and a lot of Dragon Ball. So it hasn't changed too much as far as the type of block. It's just moved to Saturday now. So let's move on to another thing that I can vaguely remember. Cartoon Olio. Yeah, interesting name. Well, anyway, I this is another one of those weekday blocks that um, was aired from 2001 to 2002. It didn't last too long. It was pretty much just a revamp of the Super Chunk. And um, it had, you know, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Dexter's Lab, Johnny Bravo, Courage, Powerpuff Girls, Time Squad, and Cow and Chicken. It also aired Flintstone, Scooby-Doo, and a pup named Scooby-Doo occasionally. Um, but anyway, this is one of those Saturday things. And yeah, you know, if we had this around now, we'd all be happy because we'd get like two or three hours of all those cartoon cartoons we sorely miss. Well, moving on to another one of the Saturday blocks. After Cartoon Olio, um, it lasted about a year or two, the SVES, Saturday Video Entertainment System, took over. This was completely different from Cartoon Olio and, um, the other Saturday blocks in that this was more action-oriented and more tsunami like It didn't last very long, only about a year or two, and um, made way for its next predecessor in Saturday. But first, let's talk about another weekday program that comes on, that aired chronologically after this. Last Bell was um, a block that aired from 2003 to 2004, another one of those short-lived things. An afternoon block that aired from 2 to 5. And, um, yeah, it just had Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Lab, Billy and Mandy, uh, Kids Next Door, and the Cramp Twins. You know, nothing special, just another one of those forgettable blocks. Moving on to another one of those with the weirdest names. Maguzi! Yeah, Cartoon Network really has a weird way with names. I mean, Maguzi, Toonami, Olio... A anyway, um... <laughs> You may remember this as it was airing one or two years ago. It lasted a pretty long time. It started up in 2004, and, um, yeah. It aired a lot of action programming that, uh, Toonami did. This was a weekday thing. It's pretty much the predecessor to Toonami in the weekdays when Toonami moved to Saturday. Um, this had stuff like, uh, Totally Spies, I mean, even Zatch Bell occasionally, uh, Teen Titans. Pretty much just an action block on the weekdays that lasted for um, maybe t two hours. Um, anyway, it lasted from 2004 to 2007, which is pretty sad. And um, yeah, I'll get to the predecessor in a moment. But next, there's something else chronologically that we have to get to, which is comes after um, Saturday Video Entertainment System, Cartoon Network Block Party. It was another revamping of Cartoon Olio, which pretty much just showed... Uh, Cartoon Cartoons, and, um, yeah, that's it. Oh, it showed also, um, things like Code Lyoko, Hamtaro, um, and Crampton Twins. Occasionally it would air a new episode, which was pretty different for, um, the other things, for the other blocks. 
Also, it is to be noted that this is the name of its um, comic book line, which still covers cartoon cartoons. Yay! Alright, moving on to something that I've never seen before, thank God. Tickle You. Yeah, another one of those weird names. But at least, one, at least this one's actually a real word. Um, anyway, this one's just your pre preschool programming, which is pretty new. Cartoon Network's only had one other preschool programming block before, before this. And, um, yeah, it showed originals, um, that I, I don't know much about. But, uh, it didn't show any of Cartoon Network's regular programming, and it was on during the day. Um, during, let's see, during 2005, and, two, and it stopped in 2006. Yeah, just another one of those generic preschooling blocks. Anyway, moving on. Cartoon Network Invaded! Probably the most original thing Cartoon Network's done in a long time. This aired in uh, early 2007, right before their summer programming. This was also directly after Fridays, which I'll talk about in another episode. Um, but this is pretty ingenious. If you don't know, it basically tied together five Cartoon Network shows into one common theme, which actually had the same aliens throughout the shows. It featured Billy and Mandy, um, Grand Bench, er, <laughs> yeah, it featured Billy and Mandy and the Great Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Um, uh, my gym partner's a monkey, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, uh, Fosters, and, uh, Camp Lasso. Right, so five pretty good shows, in my opinion. Anyway, they were all tied together with one common theme, and they've even made cameos in each other's shows <coughs> on the newspaper. But this only lasted for a month, and they aired special bumpers. Moving on. Summer at 7. This was um, this was pretty great. It was every day uh, in 2000 in last summer 2007. Uh, every day they'd air a new episode of something. Usually it was uh, like Camp Laszlo or um, that uh, racing show, whatever it was, or a few other things. But um, it was pretty good and it aired some pretty good shows. Um, moving on to Hello Banu which was pretty much the same exact thing, only it only took place for a month uh, right after the summer. Um, pretty much this aired in every week they had a new episode. I mean, every week they picked an episode and aired it every day as a new episode. First week was Camp Laszlo. From September 3rd to 6th, they aired new episodes every night. And then they did Fosters from 10th to 13th of September. Then Gym Partner from 17th to the 20th. And then Squirrel Boy for the remainder. Um, after this, they aired Goosebumps. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's not much to be said. It was new episodes. It's pretty good. I mean, who can argue with new episodes every night? Well, moving on. Here was a block um, that this is probably the first block I actually have a problem with. I, I liked it. I liked, you know, being able to vote. And <laughs> all of my old CN loving friends would vote for uh, Courage and any other show, old shows that would come on. Pretty much, you just get to vote on the shows, and if your team wins and gets the most vote, your show comes on. So, um, they didn't have every show, and they didn't have many C cartoon cartoons, which is disappointing. But they did have Courage, and I believe, uh, Ed, Ed and Eddie, and maybe one or two others, occasionally. So, it was nice, but the problem was, it only lasted for like two months back in 2007. I mean, they could have, uh, prolonged it a little bit, could have made it last a lot longer. It was a pretty good block, and it had um, some good, you know, themes. You know, you could get live action, you get the live action viewers saying uh, whatever their shout outs and the good animation and whatever. But it ended prematurely for something that has to be the worst block Cartoon Network's ever put out. Funny for your face. It's not even a block. It's like a bunch of random cartoons that they just decide to throw together and air every day and just say. Hey, look, this is these shows. We're calling it a block. They only have pretty much like one bumper of these freaky kids' faces. And, um, yeah. Of course, no cartoon cartoons, uh, although I believe Courage and maybe the Eds are there, but I don't count them because those are still airing on normal times. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't have too much problems, too many problems with, um, the Cartoon Network blocks. Just that a lot of them were short lived, and, you know, they could have prolonged a lot of them if I'm using prolong right. Anyway, um, 
a lot of them were really good and they should have stretched them out instead of just going from one block to the next and revamping it. But uh, see you in part four for um, some other stuff I'll talk about.